Today is Breast Cancer Awareness Day in Jamaica and you know I'm just wearing my little pink and my lips and my bag. I'm um, just trying to support as best as I can. Before I start, there are a few people that I want to thank. My mom and dad, my boyfriend, two of my friends, Jody and Vanessa, YouTuber, Shameless Smile and she's kind of where I got the inspiration to do this video. Last but not least, Jesus Christ slash the Bible as a reference and I'm just really grateful to have God in my life you know and it it provides like that outlet and you just know that you know this world is not going to tumble on top of you as much as you think that it's going to and I just want to say that I have a ton more people in my life to thank but that's who those are people that I want to thank for this whole journey that I'm going to embark on one of the main reasons I joined YouTube, other than makeup and beauty and skincare and all the stuff that I love, um, was to help alleviate my fear. And that was my fear of putting myself out there. And I actually kept my channel private for like an entire month. Some people found out about it, my boyfriend knew about it as well. And then after a month I started a Facebook page for it and I shared it on my timeline. That was so terrifying, like just pressing that share button I literally closed my laptop and ran away from it I was like I don't want to see anything I'm gonna hide my phone I don't want to see anything and when I came back a ton of people were leaving comments like oh wow you know are messaging me wow your videos are nice and it was just really encouraging I was like wait this, this isn't this isn't so bad like this whole putting myself out there thing so now I want to take it a step further So what is 365 Finally Fair Free? It's a project and basically a goal that I've given myself that 365 days from now, aka a year, I would have gotten over several of my fears. I'm not trying to be perfect, I'm not trying to say that a year is all you need. There are certain fears that will never um, be solved in a year, but I do believe that if you don't take an active effort to get rid of these fears, they are going to pin you down. You won't be able to succeed in like two year potential. I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm afraid of lizards, which I am. <laughs> or like, you know, um, I don't know, spiders or whatever. But I mean, stuff like, um, I'm afraid to express myself, or I am afraid to, uh, or I think too much about what other people think of me. Um, it's not that easy to say, that's why I keep glancing off camera because it's kind of hard. It's like I'm looking into an audience right now. So I want you guys to join in. If you feel like you have fears that are like holding you back, I want you to join in. Okay, and I'm going to let you know what my fears are. And please take in mind, it's not easy to share this, but I want to share because if I can help other people with this, then that would be like super great, obviously. Today, I wore this very bright lipstick to school and that's why I said my friend Jodie because I told her that I will, I'm not going to wear a bright lipstick to school oh because what do people think that I'm like being, I don't even remember what I said but she was like what? Um, I'm going to wear my really bright red tomorrow nobody can tell me what I want to do and I was just like whoa like I actually really admire that because she's like no I bought it I want to wear it what's the big deal like I don't care if somebody thinks it's too bright or whatever but it's yours you bought it you know um live your life before i tell you what my main five fears are i want to define the word fear because i want you guys to know what i mean by fear fear an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger pain or harm a feeling of anxiety concerning the outcome of something or the safety of someone the likelihood of something unwelcome happening and the verb fear is to be afraid of someone or something I think those definitions sum it up it, you know what I mean because where it says for example the likelihood of something unwelcome happening you're afraid someone's gonna reject you you're afraid that you know this person won't like you anymore or Someone's gonna change their view of you based on their standards. I don't think we should live that way. I don't think it should be a situation where I am 
in so much fear of what you're going to think that I am going to live my life for you. Okay, so I think my five main fears that I want to overcome are caring too much about what other people think and that can be any, I mean that is such a big fear but it just has been something that has ruled my life probably the past decade, like it's so crazy. Fear of rejection and I think this ties in with the other they all tie in, you know what I mean? It all stems from here but I think fear of rejection is I'm not gonna do something because I'm afraid that you're not gonna like me anymore. I am afraid that, um, I don't know, I can't get into this club or whatever, but it's my view, you know what I mean? And I'm not gonna go up there and give a speech on my opinion because somebody may not like it, somebody, somebody may not like it. Um, when I started YouTube, my boyfriend told me, you should know that people are going to love your videos but you will have people who will dislike it and you can't let that get you down. That right there, I said, I need to do this because I need to get over this fear of rejection. You can't please everybody. In fact, if you please everybody, that means you are holding back. That means you are living to please everybody. I'm going to take it as a compliment if somebody rejects me. Fear of expressing my opinion slash public speaking. Now, there are so many times I want to say something and I just don't say it. I change my answer or something, something that sounds more politically correct or appropriate in the situation. And then somebody else says what I want to say and I don't, I don't know. I'm just like, oh, why didn't I just say that? Or you're like, oh, I was gonna say that. And this ties into the, what I'm gonna speak about next, um, which is fear of, um, and just being wrong, which means doubting myself and you know that gut feeling follow that gut feeling because you know better trust me and just don't don't be like um well i'm not sure and then like if you're in class and then the answer is right that what you're thinking i just didn't say it yeah you need to say it and if you're wrong you're wrong and that goes back to fear of rejection and if you're wrong you're wrong you learn from you move on but you have spoken up you know what i mean that's why i said they all tie back in another thing that i don't want to be afraid to express is my opinion on religion and i love jesus christ and i think for too long i have said it just around the right people and oh you know people are gonna think no i don't care anymore and i think that's part of me just realizing that no i need to live for me you know what i mean not for other people not for what other people are gonna think if you dislike this video, I'm sorry, but this is just me trying to also encourage people to see that this is your life. Live for you. Um, my last fear is, I think I have a fear of risks. And I say that, which may sound weird to some people, I feel like, you know, I was crazy for a lot more than I am currently doing. And for people who know me, you might think you do a lot. I own my own baking business. I coach synchronized swimming, I'm in law school, but I saw you on TV. You're a part of this organization and you're in this magazine or whatever. Nobody said, well, you look scared. Everybody's like, oh, you're laughing, you're having fun. And you know, I have a blog, whatever. To me, there's so much more I could be doing. Stuff that matters, you know what I mean? And I don't think I was placed on this earth to just live a substandard life, to live by the rules, to okay let me just live this way the way I'm, everybody expects me to live you know what i mean so this is just me basically in the words of bob marley emancipating myself from mental slavery not allowing my mind and my fears to take over my life and what i want to do with it basically just you know not letting me stand in my path not letting me place an obstacle in my path um because i I know a lot of the times that's what can happen to us. Um, for the next 365 days, that's a really long time. This is a really long commitment. I'm gonna do something that is fearless, something that I feel is a fearless act. And it can either be a fearless act or it can be an act that something that I feared and I want to get over the fear. And I'm gonna be sharing some Instagram. My Instagram is Jessica Beauty. Um, you guys should follow me if you want to just continue this journey with me and let me know your feedback in the comments below 
and if you also want to continue this journey just click that subscribe button like let me know your feedback and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye